Yo. What's up? Got a new toy. Got to show you. Give me one sec. I'll get it on the truck. Got some breakfast. Got to the course. Got to go. Check this out. Do you remember we did that title list fitting? Check this shit. TSR3. Okay. I just put a grip on this bad boy. Titleist sent me the TSR3. If you guys saw my fitting video, um, this is gonna be my first time taking it on the course. I hit it on the range, hit it yesterday a little bit, but uh, we got a beautiful day. So uh, we'll go to the range, hit it there, and then we'll take it on the course and uh, see how it is. But I'm so excited to get this, uh, get this on the course. What we'll do, we're at my home course of Country Hills in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'll uh, show you guys around and uh, let's go play around with this thing. What shoes should we wear today, Felix? I don't know what you got. Okay, got a couple options here. Got the Jordan 1 Lowe's. These are some of my favorites, the Jordan ST trainers. But I think today we are gonna go with the Jordan 4s. Let's I like it. these. So when I was driving over here, picked up breakfast, got a shake and a wrap. Go to take a bite of the wrap while I'm driving. Instantly way too hot. You know when you start eating something, and it's too hot, but you're already too far into chewing it that you can't just spit it out. So you're <gasps> eating and trying to blow it, make it cooler at the same time. Yeah, that was me the whole drive here. Okay, you guys come with me, I'll, uh, I'll show you my course. So this course is in the middle of the Northwest in Calgary. It's a fully private 36 hole facility. So right down here, you can see our huge uh, putting green. That's one of three practice greens we have. And you can tell by the flags, we got a pretty calm day. It's always a piss off when you pull up in the parking lot and those flags are blowing like crazy. So the fact that we got a nice, relatively warm morning will be a pretty good test to see how uh, the new TSR is holding up. I think we'll cart today. What do you think? Yeah, let's cart. You guys want to see inside the clubhouse? Let's, uh, we'll go check in. Oh, look at that. There's my bag. So we'll be begging two drivers today because this is my normal driver, the Cobra LTD XLS. But uh, let's go check in. Fellas, how are you doing? Good, how are you? 11.30, but I think we got bumped. Mm -hmm. Frost. 11.30, yeah, it's still about an hour today, so 12.33. Okay. You and? Me and this guy. Okay, you guys taking a car today? Taking a car, guys. Come with full block today. Felix? Or let me hear, let me see it. Sean and Ryan. Yeah, Some yeah, of our right, uh, pro shop staff, Jeff. Jeff is a huge gearhead. Totally. I change equipment uh, weekly. This guy has more Kijiji ads than anyone I know. <laughs> and Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Oh, whatever. Okay. I'll show you guys a lot of her. It's early enough in the day that uh, hopefully no one's jumping out of the uh, steam room. Check out the name tag. Gonna grab just one extra sweater just if you think it's gonna be a little chilly out there. Another pair of Jordans just in case. Okay. It's like six degrees out right now. Yeah, cold. it's pretty cold, so it's fall. We got maybe another two weeks left of golf season. So it's the time of year where you uh, can't have too many layers. So what we'll do now, we'll go get set up on the cart. We'll hit the driving range and we'll warm up and then we'll start hitting that uh, TSR4 or TSR3, sorry. I was talking to guys on Instagram you're like, why didn't you get the TSR-4? And I can't remember, did we even hit the TSR-4 on the fitting? I don't think so. I think they just had the two and the three. Yeah. So, yeah, we can go back to the pro shops. Yeah. Okay, we're all warmed up, ready to hit this TSR-3. I'll tell you what my settings are on this. So in previous drivers, I'd always hit like a nine degree, eight degrees, sometimes I dialed it down to like a seven. In this fitting, I got fit for a 10 degree and they actually lofted it up to close the face. So it's probably playing like an 11 degree driver, which is the highest lofted driver I've ever hit. But in my fitting, Max, the Titleist fitter, was saying that I was getting more consistent ball flight. That makes me a little nervous just knowing that it's such a high loft, but we'll see how the ball flight actually looks. The shaft, I have the hazardous black six and a half uh, flex 60 gram. New this is the brand new Hazardous. Um, I've hit other Hazardous in the past, and this being kind of like a stock option shaft is a wicked shaft. I was talking to other people that were like, why didn't you get the Tour AD? I hit it, 
I just had a lot better results out of this Hazard Black. It looks awesome. The crown is super traditional. Got the very small TSR lined up right where you put the ball and no carbon, which is it's probably the only driver, one of the only drivers of 2022 with no carbon. They have the weight setting on the back. Do you know what T1 is, Fee? Oh, toe weight, okay. And then uh, I just put on the grip. These are the grips that I play. It is the Golf Pride Micro Suede's. Let's try to get some, some drives on here and we'll see how it's holding up. In the distance, there is a black um, pole. That's gonna be kind of my target line. It is kind of cool in the morning, so me reaching the bottom range is probably not likely, but these balls that we hit are like 75% compression too. They're not a, a full golf ball. So let's put some swings on and I'll tell you what I'm thinking about it. Oh, well, maybe I will re reach the bottom range. It started on my line, sort of right at the black pole, and then it just cut off. So maybe if I get warm, I can reach uh, that bottom range. Luckily, it's closed, so we're not going to hit anyone. That one was a little toey. I can tell right on the face right away that I'm favoring the toe side. So that one turned over, which is what you'd expect. But the ball flight looks pretty sweet. It's kind of a bigger fade, but so far looking at it at a dress, it looks awesome. I love obviously the black shaft of the black head. Feels really good. It's not very tinny. It's not a very loud face. It's actually probably one of the quieter faces that I've hit this year, but it sounds good. It sounds very solid. And uh, I'll, I'll try to pick up my swing speed and really try to start stepping on a couple. Left, left a bit. Left a bit. Now that I'm warming up with more consistent strikes, this thing feels awesome. Um, should I hit my other drive and see how it's comparing? It's my current gamer, the uh, Cobra LTDX LS, one of our uh, driver bracket series of videos. It's the all black head. Um, this one we have at nine degrees, standard uh, loft with the LA Golf uh, Dustin Johnson shaft. It's a shaft that I've loved last couple months. So I'll hit a couple just because I'm warm now and we'll see how I think it's comparing to the uh, TSR3. I'll make another video on an, on an official head-to-head -head where we can hook it up to TrackMan and see all the data. This is kind of just from a feel perspective and what I see uh, the ball doing. The Titleist is definitely a quieter head, like I mentioned earlier. Ball flight wise, they have very similar characteristics. So I think I am hitting the Titleist just slightly higher. Obviously it's a higher lofted head, so that makes sense. Well, from what I see there, I had more miss hits actually with my Cobra. <laughs> That's probably more user error. What I'll do from here is we'll take it on the course. We can measure out how far I'm hitting the TSR and uh, I'll give you kind of my overall impressions of its playability on the course. I'll finish warming up, I'm gonna putt and chip and then we'll uh, go on the course. Nice little cut. Like what's gonna take for you to boot this uh, Cobra out of the bag? Good question. Dispersion, obviously. That's the biggest thing for a new driver is, can you keep it in the fairway? <laughs> Distance for me has never been a big deal. So even if it was shorter than the Cobra, if I was more consistent with it, I would keep it in the bag. One of the biggest things to me is shot shaping too, that I want to be able to hit a draw on holes that go right to left. And I want to be able to cut it on holes that go left to right. For me, if I can manipulate the ball, that's a huge factor uh, for if this is going to end up in my bag. There, one for one. <laughs> so, so far, if I could do that on the course every time. That's one of the funny things about driving range sessions that I'm sure a lot of you have done. When you're on the range, you hit the shot exactly how you imagine it. 
then you get on the course and you're hitting you know the opposite of what you did on the range so if i can bring that shape to the course which we'll find out shortly this could uh, be a serious contender to get into my bag hey Stu, come over here everyone this is my buddy Stu. he's a big gearhead i need to get your impressions on what you think of the titleist tsr3 well, I hate to say it, but it's sick, as you guys would say. <laughs> it sure looks good. Looks really good. What driver are you playing right now? I'm playing a Callaway Rogue driver. Have you played Titleist drivers before? I have, many times, Was and it? I love them. Yeah? Yes. It's it's quite amazing. Can I hit it once? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hit it my a couple God. times. You're good. You're Just good. don't sky it. Is it a senior flex? <laughs> Not a senior. Oh, does this look good? No one's on the green down there. <laughs> Not bad. Can I hit another? Yeah. How did that sound? Sounded great. Yeah. Would you say it's loud, soft, tinny? I'd say it's, I'd say it's soft. Soft? Yeah. Okay. I like the, uh, the all black look. I love it. Probably not the shaft for you, but you play the head. Definitely not the shaft. It's beautiful. That's the TSR3. Yeah. So the two's a little bigger. That sounds more like me. Yeah. But it looks pretty much the same from the top line, the sole, the face. Anything you don't like about it? The grip. <laughs> Personal <laughs> preference. Personal preference. I like corded grips, but uh, there's nothing I don't like about it. It's one of the nicest looking drivers I've ever seen. How are you playing lately? Pretty darn good for an old guy. Yeah. This dude's actually a pretty good golfer. So, yeah, so, uh, this, today will be my 185th round this year. 185. Fuck off. Must yeah. be nice to be retired. It's not bad. It's got some uh, advantages. So, Stu and I were uh, doubles match play partner last year in a citywide match play event. We had the best comeback of all time. We were three down with three to play, playing against a guy who was like a plus six, one of the pros at the course we were playing. We went birdie to, to go two down after two par won us the next hole yep and then you birdied the 18th to push to extras so we play the first hole again in a playoff and he's in the greenside bunker i'm probably ob fairway bunker fairway bunker and i put it to about six inches yeah tap in for the <laughs> win so we were dormy three to go and ended up winning best and match of my life it was awesome it was epic and then we asked them to join us for dinner and they they declined and left. <laughs> so we ate dinner on our own. Yeah, we did. Well done. Yeah, thanks for coming to the video. You're welcome. All right, buddy, have fun. Have, have a good, good day. See you, buddy. Legend. The legend of Stu. Such a good guy. Stu likes iron covers. <laughs> Show us your iron covers. <laughs> oh, we give him such a hard time about it. Such a hard time, but he's, he's one of our best buddies at the course. He's such a good guy. I'm ready to go. Let's uh, take this thing on the course. What we'll do, I don't have a track man or any measuring devices, but the cart will tell us how far the drives are from the tee boxes. So that'll give us a pretty decent benchmark of how far this thing is going. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll go roll a couple putts and then uh, we'll get on the course. So I started posting some reels on Instagram of me playing holes and I've been typing out, you know, what I'm hitting, what the shot is, what the hole is. And it's so funny to me, the amount of people that are like, oh, it's cap, bullshit clout for views for instance i had like a i hit my hybrid pretty far like honest i hit it probably as much as my driver it was like 265 270 everyone's like oh that's such bullshit so maybe today we can get some driver numbers and if we can hit it far maybe we can show them oh, they'll still say it's fake they'll still say it's fake yeah you're right but uh i tried to reply to everyone on instagram so if you guys haven't hey followed guys. me check out to at you know golf again. oh Stu. how about this putter i, I title is family well there you go loving it First Scotty I've ever owned that I actually love. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I I've won't sell it either. You won't, you won't sell, sell it. it. Yeah, no, right. Wait, I love wait, the grip. Weeks. We're going to reference this video when it's up on Kijiji. And I love the grip. No, the Pistolero. Yeah, you said it's your favorite grip. I do. I, I actually have... took this off and put on a Dodger Super Stroke. Yeah. And I cut it off after two days. Really? I love that uh, Pistolero. Will we, willing to trade for Red Lobster gift cards? <laughs> <laughs> $500 of the Lobster <laughs> gift cards. And yes, and when I put late, uh, men's shafts on my irons, <laughs> I'll sell <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, that was really funny. There's, there's a backstory there. <laughs> okay, so I gotta tell you guys that story really quick of what Stu was referencing in the lobster, Red Lobster gift cards. So, Stu is notorious for selling clubs. He buys and sells clubs religiously, like half of you are watching, I bet. So he had a set of irons on there. They're the tailor-made Tiger Woods irons. And uh, 
I messaged him. I said, hey, any, I think he was asking, let's say a thousand bucks. I said, hey, any chance you'd take 200 cash and a $500 Red Lobster gift card? We just wanted to get a reaction out of him. So we were kind of sharing it around our group chat and everyone was in on the joke except Stu. And then uh, we started asking him if there was men's shafts in them. We asked if he'd meet us at a driving range and uh, if I hit it further than him, if he'd uh, give me a discount. So the running joke with Stu is if he'll uh, trade us his clubs for a Red Lobster gift card. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> We're on the putting green, Country Hills. This is the Ridge course. We're playing with some beauties. We are playing with David and Dr. Sarb and Felix, our cameraman producer. And uh, I'm excited to start hitting this uh, TSR three for you guys. Roll a couple putts and we're good to go. I'm still not convinced that the yellow Pro-V has the same casing as a white Pro-V. Do you think they do? I don't think so. I think they, I read somewhere that they're different, but they try to make it as close as possible. Well, why do they call it the Pro-V then if it's not a Pro-V? So last night the new Tiger Woods video game dropped and there was three different options that you could buy. It was like, 100 bucks, 140 or 160 bucks to get the Michael Jordan pack. So I wasn't not gonna get the Michael Jordan pack. So I got it, I started playing it. And when I first set it up, it was harder than real golf. Like why is a video game harder than real golf? I'm gonna do a full review on it. I uh, reviewed the 2K21 when that came out. So I'll review the new Tiger Woods game. So if you guys haven't already, go to subscribe, like the video, and then you can see uh, the next review. Oh God. Easy money today. Maybe go for a putter lesson. Easy money today. I have been sucking at golf lately, so low expectations today. Okay, we're playing the gold tees. Gold tees play 66 73. First hole's par four. It's gonna be a really good test for my driver because I'm gonna see if I can hit that draw that I was hitting on the driving range. So hopefully we do. Okay, let's see if we can turn this ball over. First time on the course, Titleist TSR3. Don't let me down. You gonna stay up? Might go down that hill. I got a bad kick. Remember on the range when I was talking about hitting that draw? Worked out first try. Didn't work out this time, but we've got a couple more holes to see how this is. So overall, not bad. The problem was it just didn't draw. It still went far. How far did it go? It went 300 and I didn't hit it great. I was way more user error than uh, club error, that's for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys my series of drives. I'm not gonna do like a full course vlog because uh, I just wanna show you how the driver's performing. So hopefully I can hit some good ones and then measure out how far they're going. But uh, that's what we'll do. I'll just show you the majority of the drives. Second hole is another kind of 400-ish yard par four. I wouldn't normally hit driver here just because I like getting it in play. But because it is the TSR3 video, I'll smack a driver for you guys. So with driver, in the distance past the green, you can see a small little hole where you see the road. Can you see that? Yep. So I would normally try to play there and have it just cut off of, that'd be best case scenario. Nice ball. Might be too Hit a good one there. Felt a little high on the face, high and toey. But if that's the miss hit, we'll find out how far that went. Can you see? Is there anything worse than the course being cart path only and they didn't tell you it was cart path only? You get onto the course and now the cart is governed to go six fucking kilometers an hour. Okay, we're off and running. I want to get our cart to the ball so we can see how far it went. Okay, the cart's being lame, so I can't go beside my ball, but we're just about parallel with it, okay? So from the gold tee box, it said it was 324. So we're just shy of the green, which would be about normal, I'd say, with my drivers. But, like I said, it was a bit of a miss hit and middle of the fairway. So if that's the forgiveness of the TSR3, pretty sweet driver. Okay, we're gonna part our five. We'll try to really step on it. Feeling loose, that last drive was pretty good. Yeah, best case scenario, this par five, we can get it near the one, 150, which is a pretty big ball, but realistic. The biggest key is just keeping it in play. So we'll see how the uh, dispersion is right here. Good looking club. Pretty traditional, right? Yeah. Simple and beautiful, TSR3. Is this this year's new? Yeah, they just came out. It's beautiful, beautiful. Here's a David, what do you think? There you go, David, you're the one who can pound it. 
Yeah, I have the uh, three wood, last year's three wood. It's very nice, like teardrop shape. Is this the stock shaft that's with it? Yeah, that's the awesome. Stock options, the new hazard supply. Very nice. Fucking mint. Yeah, they definitely turned over. There's a lot more user error than uh, driver error right now. Okay, I was able to put the draw on it that I wanted, which is awesome. So I started about playability on the range and I was able to work a draw in. 331 is the total distance of what I got. So I'm about 180 into a par five, so I would take that. I said on the tee box I could maybe reach the 150. Bit of a stretch. It's uh, cool and windy, but you know, this is in play and I hit the draw that I wanted. So, so far so good. So I normally, if I hit the fairway, I'd get a bunch of rollout. So I'm thinking that this is close to mostly carry, but even if I got 15 yards rollout, cause it's in the rough, that's still a 315 yard carry, which is large. I think if I hit the fairway, it would have rolled. It could have rolled up to the 150. I gotta find the fairway. Okay, we got a par five and this is one where I have to move it from right to left. So this would be a pretty good test for the driver. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I said it has to go right to left and I hit it from left to right. <laughs> I'm having a struggle bus day. Like anything, you gotta get used to it. So to use it through four or five holes, would I switch yet? No, but I'm sure if I tweak it around a bit uh, on the range, it'll get better. So we got one more hole that I'm gonna hit this. But so far it's been eh, not, not the best. So the thing about putting a new driver in play is it's obviously gonna look different, sound different, and the results should be different from your current driver. So it's gonna take me a bit to get used to. In a perfect world, you just buy a new club and start striping at 350 down the middle every time, but that's not realistic. I've gotten so used to the driver that's in my bag that it's just tough and different to hit a, hit a new club. But uh, you know, I'm sure if we dialed it in, it'll keep up and that's why I really want to hit it on the track man to get like side by side comparison and look at the numbers on which driver is better for me. Well to be fair like when you did to testing you're in mid-season form and you were striping it. 100%. And now like, like that fitting was over a month ago and I've probably played six times since then so that's just not a lot of golf not nearly as much as I'm used to anyway. Okay guys this is the last time I'm hitting this driver in this video. Ninth hole pretty straight away par four. So far like I'm not I'm playing like shit. So that's tough to film a review when you're playing like garbage, but hopefully we can get a, a decent one on and then we'll go find it. Okay, last drive of this video, we hit a 300 yard cut. It's pretty windy, so I would take this and this is where my other driver would end up in these conditions. Okay, so that wraps up nine holes playing with the TSR three. Like overall, it looks really good. It sounds good. I was playing like shit. So it's so frustrating when I want to have good results and then I'm just not getting them. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to put it on the track man, put it head to head with my Cobra, and then uh, we'll get some real data to see how those two are going head to head. I'm going to finish my round of golf. I got to pick up my socks and I might need a lesson after this too. So we'll check in with you guys later. See you guys.